Hello team, so uh, let's uh, attack the elephant in the house. Uh, that's the point of sale itself. Uh, so how do we use Bula point of sale? Or Bula point of sale, sorry. So uh, this is a point of sale which makes uh, everything easier and quicker and easier for both your employees and you. And at the same time it's sophisticated based on uh, how much content we have in it. So uh, right here, once you just log in into your system, be it you are uh, uh, a seller or a shopkeeper, or maybe uh, you're the admin, uh, both of them can do uh, the posting and the point of sale. The difference will be for other users, you won't have these three options for managing stores, selling online, and point of sale, but rather from here, a point of sale going down. So how does it work? So once you're here on point of sale, you'll see the various items that you're having. And for test case, this is a hardware store. So you'll have a lot of uh, items and also we have a lot of categories. So the first option here is to search. You can search your item out uh, from here. And then uh, the rest, uh, the next one is a uh, select category. So from here, you can select different categories of items that you've created uh, onto your system just to make navigation easy. So once you tap on that, it will load the category for you. And then also if these items are so many and you don't like these uh, kind of tabular uh, display, you can put in it, it into a list view whereby you can see multiple or various items in the list uh, that will uh, show a lot of items. And in the same way, if you search, it will become much easier uh, for you to, to, to do that, that search and stuff. And then there's an option here for receive payment. So this is basically whenever a customer has come to pay for a stale order or an order which was unpaid. So the your cashier or your seller or your shopkeeper will be keeping that record. Maybe say this uh, particular person uh, uh, will have his, his or her details here. And then the payment method, how he's paying, blah, blah, blah. We have the references and stuff. Then we'll pick a customer who is paying. This one will help us in the customer uh, transaction, uh, showing us that uh, statement, um, basically. Then you can add a remarks and then, then save. That one will create a payment for you. That's for the payment. Now, how do we add items into our cart? So you just tap on the item and then here you have two options. Uh, the first option is the quantity. You can tap on these or add or these minus to just change the quantity. And also the price, you can uh, make a price based on how uh, you negotiated with your client. And then you can put some details here. Uh, just a small details attached to that item. Then that's it. Once you tap on done, the item goes here. If you want to edit anything, you just tap on this edit and then you can add your quantity and stuff. Uh, you can update that item or also you can remove that item from uh, from 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 uh, from cut. So for example, if I have this item here, I can also uh, remove this item from my uh, from my cut as uh, that way. Uh, so let me add some couple of items and then out of here there's somewhere you can put a percentage of tax uh, be it is VAT or stuff you can just add a percentage and also here you can add a discount that you're giving out of this uh, product and then uh, from there there's details here you, you tap on these details to just pick a customer whatever customer that you're selling to you can pick them from there and then from there it's done so here you can select either you're paying by card or bank or cash or m -Pesa. Uh, so i'll do one let's say i'm paying via cash so out of cash to show me the total and then the tender amount this is the amount that the customer has uh, paid then that's it once you complete the transaction is created let's go to the next step You might also want to specify the various locations. So these are the selling points. So you can sell a, a product based on their location. So for example, if you have two, three stores, they'll be listed here. So once you select on a store, it will display those items in that particular store, whereby you'll be able to sell them uh, based on the, uh, on the store that you are. Also here, we have some insights, like the uh, transaction that you made, 
uh, if you do that you can even see them and also the pay on point of sale uh, overviews uh, on how you're doing your sales just some fancy reports to uh, show you how the business is doing so i want to explain these buttons here so this bank someone has just come to, uh, to pay with bank or uh, card or maybe they have deposited uh, some cash in bank or, or check and then uh, they want you to sell them your item so this is the option that you use to create that item for them so for example if i have one item here then this one, this one once you tap on bank it will just show you to confirm uh, that you have received this cash uh, by a bank and that's uh, when you can tap complete that transaction is created for cash is the same way i showed you you just have a tender amount to show you the balance and then you complete uh, also there is an pesa and pesa payment this is the manual and pesa way whereby you just want to record that transaction so they have paid it has come to your uh, to your phone or maybe to your device that you're using to confirm the payments and then you can have the reference here you just add the reference uh, and then you tap on complete that will be that will be it there are customers who are debtors uh, they'll come uh, to, 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 to have service or product a bit uh, so that's why we are having this one here so, uh, sorry. so that one is just go directly if you say these are debt it's like holding that order uh, I've ordered two chapatis as customer we'll have my customer details here and then once you tap on debt it will just record that one as a debt and then in my customer statement I'll show you later it will still have that as my uh, as a debt that I have to pay. Then there's more options here. Like this one, you have received payments online. You can place an order without uh, completing it. You can link a payment uh, payment to uh, this particular order that you're making. Maybe if they are, are prepaid, uh, you can link it. Then there's online payment. This is where now we uh, process uh, the Mpesa so uh, this is where now we'll be integrating the M-Pesa, the card payments, uh, wherever other matters that you're having or that part integration, so we'll be doing that uh, there. Then this is where now you can click your, or you can clear your, your view. Also, one thing I want to speak about is this one, uh, there's dark mode also. If you just uh, want to see it in dark mode, maybe for your eyes and stuff, there's this switch up for dark mode, which is a key when it comes to health issues. Uh, and then that's it so for now i'll uh, next i'll discuss uh, the money store and uh, the selling point so thank you for your time um, and i feel that uh, at least now you're you're able to sell a product uh, and also you'll be able to create an item and uh, that's it that's uh, let me see in your comment let me know if it's difficult where you think uh, need some improvement where you think we can make it much easier elegant and maybe robust uh, let me know in the comments as we move to the next story thank you